Let's check out the spectral blur, which can give us kind of a noise-like reverb effect. Uh, so right here under packs, creative extensions, we can find it under the audio effects. I have just a break beat here from the built-in core library. Let's load spectral blur. Now step, spectral blur is gonna take a range of frequencies and basically gonna blur them, gonna freeze them uh, into kind of like a reverb-like effect. So from here we can choose the actual frequency range. Here's the bottom and here's the top. Let's play it. And you can even change if it's inside that range or outside that range. What are we actually blurring? Uh, we can bring in the residual, which are all the frequencies that are not blurred. Right here with the halo, uh, we have two modes. Halo, if you bring it all the way up, it's exactly like freeze. It's just gonna completely delay, <coughs> delay and freeze the blurred frequencies. And in halo, we can take the halo down to make the blurry shorter. So now we can hear some of the original rhythm of the drums, but it's still blurred. Nice, here's the volume of the wet. Dry wet knob. And here we have delay compensation, uh, which gonna add some uh, delay to synchronize both the dry and wet. Although I didn't notice any changes, uh, especially even in the latency of the device, nothing has been introduced. So this is the spectral blur, um, giving you kind of this noise reverb type of effect. And of course you can uh, have it to be a bit more frozen for uh, just noise and resonating frequencies uh, effects. Nice, spectral blow, check it out.